miners are still occupying uh, uh, parts of Oasi. Could you give us an update on, on, on how that's developing and, and where you expect it to, to end up? It's uh, quite an unfortunate thing which has happened in Abu Asi, as you can appreciate. And Ghana is one area, one jurisdiction where law and order has never been in question. Uh, the occupation of the illegal miners started way back in late January, early February. We have been in continuous engagement with the government in terms of restoring law and order. And as you know, uh, 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 under Ghanaian law, uh, it is the actual security forces that provide uh, the security support that is needed uh, in terms of ensuring that we can continue to operate uh, without fear of illegal miners. And we have done the right thing by even relinquishing close to two thirds of the concession to the government uh, uh, to uh, reallocate as it thinks fit. Uh, the illegal miners are still in occupation. Uh, when they tried to enter the sort of deeper high grade areas of the mine, uh, we alerted the government as to the long term impact that would have and the government employed security forces and the, the removal of the illegal miners from that area was relatively peaceful. That's a positive development. The government has established a movement committee uh, which is involved in looking at how we can relocate and regularize the illegal miners into artisanal miners, if that is possible, to basically move them out, out of the premises. Uh, the, the engagement is still ongoing, but the progress is uh, frustratingly slow. And in addition to that, that is one of the reasons why we had to actually commence the proceedings in the, uh, with regard to arbitration. But that doesn't exclude our engagement with the government on a day-to-day -day basis, keeping them updated of what's happening and getting uh, the diplomatic efforts to come into play. We would have normally spent around close to $120 million this year on Abu Asi. We're looking at reducing it down to around 55 to 60 million because the work isn't happening. We have updated to the extent we can the feasibility study, looked at options, but until we can actually go back into the site once law and order has been restored, looked at the damage which has actually been caused and feed that back into the model, there's very little we can do at this stage. Ghana is obviously going through uh, an election period at this stage. I think elections are, se are scheduled for early November. Uh, one has to wait and see uh, at the year end uh, what the outcome is and also where the arbitration uh, process leads us to.